And Barnaby Phillips is the spokesperson for the Elephant Protection Initiative, and he joins us live from London. Great to have you on the news hour. These really are very, very sad images to see, Barnaby. And two months on since the elephants started dying in Botswana. Why don't we know the reason? Well, we're waiting for those test results, uh, and the Botswana government is saying that we will get those results uh, next week. I think logistics have something to do with it. It's a remote part of Botswana. We're talking about a huge area. The elephants uh, that have been, the carcasses that have been discovered are spread over something like 8,000 square kilometers. Uh, and clearly, we, we do need clarity, absolutely. And I think the, the, Bots the Botswana government wants that clarity as well. It, just to put it in perspective, this is such a crucial area to the conservation of Africa's elephants. Uh, northern Botswana is really the, the stronghold of African elephants, and it's where four other countries, Angola, Zimbabwe, Zambia and Namibia all meet, all of which historically have had very healthy elephant populations. So uh, a major problem in that area is, is a disaster for the status of the African elephant, potentially. And do we know what uh, sexes, what ages are dying? What we're seeing is that uh, both genders uh, are dying and elephants of, um, of all ages as well. It doesn't seem that, for instance, young elephants or old bull elephants are particularly susceptible, no. Uh, I, I think people have looked through the different possible causes, as, as you were hearing there from, from the Botswana government spokesman. They, they don't believe it, it's poaching. It certainly doesn't seem to be. The ivory is not being removed. There has been a problem of cyanide poisoning over the border in Zimbabwe. But again, it does not seem to be the case here in Botswana, because if it's cyanide poisoning, that's that's pretty indiscriminate. And what you tend to find then is that the elephants die, but so do all the vultures and jackals and hyenas and other scavengers, uh, which feed on the corpses. And that doesn't seem to be the case. So then what are you left with? Well, uh, possibly some naturally occurring toxin in, in vegetation or in water that, that is killing elephants, although Again, then, it seems strange that it would only be killing them. Uh, and perhaps you're left then with what I think many people are thinking is the most likely scenario, is that it's some sort of virus or bacteria uh, which is having an impact on the elephant, some naturally uh, occurring pa pathogen, possibly. And remind us, Barnaby, how significant it is for conservation and for Africa, the African elephant, because Botswana, as you said, is the stronghold. And what else is happening in, in the rest of uh, the continent with them? Well, Botswana is, is a tremendous success story in elephant conservation. It, it's very important to, to emphasise that. Uh, and about one third of all of Africa's elephants, there are probably just over 400,000 elephants left in sub-Saharan Africa. One third of all of those are in, in Botswana. So, of course, uh, we want the status of, of the elephant in Botswana to be, to be secure. And so passionately does the Botswana government. Elsewhere, over the last decade or so, although there has been a stabilization in the last three or four years, but over the last decade, particularly in Eastern Africa and in the rainforests of Central Africa, uh, elephants have suffered terribly at the hands of uh, organized poaching in particular, uh, with the demand for ivory coming from the Far East. Barnaby Phillips, spokesperson from the Elephant Protection Initiative, thank you so much for your time here on TRT World. We appreciate it. <laughs>